Well, certainly over the past few days, the Russian forces have made some quite important gains, particularly the town of Svitlodarsk, which is just north of Debaltseva. If you remember the battle for Debaltseva in 2014, which Ukraine lost, and it's just south of Severodonetsk, that's quite an important gain for the Russian armed forces. And even President Volodymyr Zelensky, the Ukrainian leader, has said that in some places, Ukrainian forces are very severely outnumbered and outgunned by the Russians and he's urging Ukraine's Western allies to supply more weapons quicker. We know that some of the weapons that have been supplied, particularly by the United States, howitzer guns, for example, have reached the front line and are now in action. But clearly the Ukrainians are struggling at the moment. Though let's remember the Russians have rather reduced their ambitions, if you like, the scale of their ambitions for the moment. Anyway, they um, initially seemed to be wanting to cut off the whole of eastern Ukraine, then a rather smaller slice of it. Then they said just the Donbass. What's happening at the moment is that what they're really aiming to gain full control of for now is just half of the Donbass, the eastern half, if you like, Luhansk region, which, as you said, they currently control about 95% of. There's just these two key towns of Severodonetsk and Lysychansk in Luhansk region that are still under Ukrainian control, um, and the Russians are closing in on them.